Hey y'all, welcome back or welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna show you guys how I make my protein smoothies. I try to make these every morning. Um, I usually don't miss a day of these, but sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys everything that I put in my smoothie. It's all pretty much right here. Protein smoothie, protein shake, whichever one you wanna call it. But it's pretty much everything that you see right here. I use this macaroo powder right here and I need to restock on this. Um, this is vegan, gluten-free, non-GMO, all that good stuff. And it is a plant-based superfood. This right here is really good for if you are working out, which I am trying to get back into the habit of working out. But I kind of tweaked my back like a week and a half ago. So I kind of been trying to take it slow and waiting for my back to recover. But this right here is really good for gaining muscle, uh, muscle mass. So... Yeah, this right here is really good, maca root. And I need to restock on this, like I said. Um, so I'll probably be going to grocery outlet here pretty soon to go get some of that. But I also use this right here. This is chocolate enhanced collagen. It is um, also has cocoa in it, and this is all organic. Um, I only use chocolate um, anything when it comes to proteins because that's the only flavor that I like. Um, also this right here, this is organic organ protein. I have been using this one for a long time. I used to use Naked Mass when I was working out, but like I said, I haven't been back in the routine of working out lately. So I have just been using this and this is much cheaper than the, um, the Naked Mass. The Naked Mass is like almost $80. This right here is $30 for this um, 32 ounce, which I don't know. I guess it isn't too bad. I got it off of Amazon. It lasts pretty much a month, give or take. And it depends again on how often I use it. But this is a creamy chocolate fudge flavor. It has seven grams of prebiotic fibers, 21 grams of plant protein, and less than one gram of sugar. So if you're looking for a plant-based protein, this one right here is really good. I've been using it for a long time. This one right here, I just started using probably about three weeks ago, I want to say, and I haven't had any issues with it um, since I've started using it. The other thing I'm going to use is my handy dandy ninja here. I have had my ninja for, I don't even know how long, for a very long time. It works. It does the job. So I always use my ninja. I'm going to be using coconut milk right here. I have the unsweet version because this was all I could find when I went to the store um, to go grocery shopping a couple days ago. But usually I use either the sweetened or the vanilla. But coconut milk is the flavor that I choose to use. I'm also going to use a scoop of the quick oats. And I just add the quick oats to it just to get the extra um, calories um, and to get the extra, yeah, just pretty much to get the extra calories. You know, um, it's just like eating oatmeal. If you eat a scoop of oatmeal, you get about the same amount of calories as you would if you just put it in your drink. So I use a scoop of oatmeal and then I usually wait till my bananas look like this before I use them to make my um, smoothies. Because when your bananas are like this, this is when they are the ripest and that's when they're the sweetest. I usually use two bananas just because I like my um, smoothies a little bit thicker. So that's where the peanut butter comes into play. Actually, this one is almond butter. Today I'm using almond butter. Um, sometimes I use peanut butter. It just depends on what I have. But um, almond butter is definitely thicker than the peanut butter. So I don't use too much of this. I kind of use just one scoop. When it's the peanut butter, I'll use two. But so I'll use my almond butter. And yes, yeah, so this is everything that I use. And then, of course, I put it in this cup. And then this is the cup that I'll use to blend everything in. Sometimes I use ice. Sometimes I don't. Like I said, I like it usually thicker. So the ice, when you put that in it, it kind of thins it out. So usually I will not use the ice, but this is everything that I put in my protein smoothie on a daily. And honestly, guys, I feel like it has helped a lot with me um, getting my protein intake because I know as women, as we get older, we don't eat as much protein. Sometimes you don't get as much protein in your foods. So drinking a protein shake is like the best thing that you can do. 
So, all right, guys, I just wanted to show you guys everything that goes into my protein shake. And now I'm going to go ahead and mix it all up. There's one. Okay. First thing I do is pour the milk. Then I usually put all my powders in first because they can just go straight into the milk. And I just do one scoop of each, like that. Well, this is a little under a scoop. Let me make it even. Okay, so an even scoop like that. Now with my macaroon root, because it's almost gone, I'm just gonna pour the rest of it in there. Okay. Yep, that's all of that. Then I got my scoop of oatmeal. I'm just gonna do about that much oatmeal. And then the almond butter. And I do a scoop about that much almond butter. Then the last thing is the bananas. These ones are really ripe. Best time to use them though. I don't know if I'll be able to fit the whole banana. I might have put, uh -oh. I might have put too much milk, so I might not be able to fit the whole banana. So we'll just do half of the banana. Then your top. And then before I start to blend it, I just shake it as much as I can. Okay, looks like that. And now I'm gonna blend it. Then I take it off. Give it a shake again. Let me see if I can fit the rest of the banana in here. Cause it still seems kinda, I probably put too much milk. Still seems kinda liquidy. So let's put the rest of the banana in there. Put the top back on, I hope it doesn't overflow. It's overflowing. Okay, yep. So that banana was too much. Let me clean that up. Okay. Got that all wiped off. Yeah, I think I put too much milk to start with is the problem and sometimes that happens. Okay, so now I'm gonna blend it again. All right. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have some left over 
after I pour it in this cup. This is how much I have left. I'm just gonna pour it in another cup like this. But here's this one. All right, here's one. I'm gonna pour the rest in this one. So I made almost two of them today. Usually I don't make that much, but like I said, I think I poured way too much milk. But either I'll use this one tomorrow or somebody else in the house will drink it. So my aunt says she'll drink it, which she will. And there's nothing bad in it that I'm worried about her drinking it. So here we go. Okay. I made two of them. Protein. All right, y'all, that is the end of the video. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.